Hi, welcome to my tutorial showing you how to create this banging boho beehive. What I love about it is it's super quick, minimal effort, minimal time, maximum output, I think you'll agree. All of this is created just with my own hair. There's no other accessories included other than any natty headband you may wish to add. There's no fillers, no bun donuts, no nothing, just your own hair. And what I also really like about it is that it ends in what looks like a little French twist. Quite often when you're doing a bouffant or a beehive, it's difficult to know what to do with the hair at the back, but um, this style incorporates it all. There's no mess, no nothing. So uh, I'm really pleased with it. I really hope you like it. Ah, <sighs> here we go. Okay, so grab some kind of sectioning tool. I can't find my rat tail comb for the life of me, so I'm using a bobby pin. And section off your hair vertically from ear to ear. Now you want just over half of your hair, I'd say. Um, sectioned away and then put the back of your hair up into a high ponytail. This is where the height of your bouffant will come from, your ponytail. Clip the front section away and then you're going to start to back comb your ponytail. Section by section, one or two inch sections of hair and back comb them so they're nice and full. Ideally you'll be using a back combing brush for this but again mine's gone missing in the move I think and I'm using just a round brush which is getting caught up and is terrible. When you've back combed all of your hair, loosely wrap it into a bun around the ponytail band, very loosely keeping as much hair as you can volumised and towards the front of your hair. This will give a fantastic structure and base for your beehive. Give it a spray and pin it down with some bobby pins. But remember, don't pin it flat, keep the volume in there, you need it for the bigness. Release the front section of hair and you're going to back comb this as needed. I don't have to give it too much of a back combing because I've practiced this style a couple of times and my hair's pretty back combed already but if you're starting with fresh hair you're going to need to work on that section to really get the poofiness you need to have a smooth shape at the end so back comb the bilio out of your hair and then you should be able to just scoop it all up in one go with one hand up and over the back of your bun. Now I've just taken out a couple of front sections of my hair because I'm still growing out my fringe and it won't quite reach to the roll at the back. So just sweep it up and over the bun and then smooth it out with a hairbrush if you need to. You will probably need quite a shed load of hairspray. <laughs> Okay, gather the hair at the back and just begin to twist and pull down slightly. Don't pull any of the height out of your beehive. Remember to just twist and pull the twist and not the actual whole hairstyle. I get a bit confused here. Twist the hair and then you can turn any ends underneath it and just flip it over on itself, creating a mock French roll. And then pin. I, I stick kind of a couple of pins in vertically just to hold the roll down onto my head. And it all looks tucked in and pretty snazzy. I'm going to accessorise with a cool leopard print headband. This is cool. It not only looks really quite authentic, but covers up any dodgy bits if you have any. I've got a little bit of a funny bit on my right hand side there, but hey, who cares? Now I think for the time and effort involved, that looks pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you like vintage hairstyling, please check out my vintage hairstyling playlist, which hopefully will be here if my video editing software allows me to put it in without crashing. If it's not here, then it's going to be in the info bar, or you can access it via my channel. And talking about channels, I would love you to subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Wunderbar. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Check out my other videos. Subscribe to my channel. Ah, oh, comment please. If you try any of my hairstyles out, give us a comment in the comment box. Or if you'd like to show me your pretty face and your pretty hair, then upload your photos to my Facebook page, which is linked underneath. That would be awesome. Thanks so much. See you. Bye.